Welcome to another tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful bikini top, Barbie inspired. I got this yarn just in the urgent because I went for vacation and I wanted to go to spa. I didn't have my Budding suit with me, so I went to the shop and I couldn't find any yarn there except this polyester. But good thing about acrylic or polyester is that it's perfect for going to the water. So today we're gonna do this project together. I'm not gonna use this color because I already made this one, the first one. So this time I'm just gonna use the pink and the white one, the white color combined. This is like a light pink and a darker pink as you can see in this side so yeah grab your hook and yarn this is DK with category 3 you can use any brand you want and if you want to wear not in the water not going to the water you can use also cotton yarn just any type of yarn you want that you prefer just choose T DK with take a category three or can be also smaller you just have to measure your body along with me i will show you how and the hook 3.5 millimeter hook a pair of scissors yarn needle and a stitch marker i have everything in here all right let's get started so i am gonna show you how you can choose which color to start first as you can see this top over here i want to have this pink to be the dominant color like this light pink and not the darker one so i start the first row with the darker one just like this piece i'm going the one that we are doing doing it together the white and the light pink i want the light pink again to be dominant because this is the outside and this is the inside you can wear both but as you know sometimes the inside work is not as neat as the outside work my one is neat though <laughs> but i still choose to yeah choose the dominant color that i want to show on the outside so for me the second one i also want to have a light pink that means i'm going to start the row one with the white color and you're going to make a long chain that go across passing your um, armpit so i'm gonna go ahead chain 94 chain plus 2 if you are size xs 34b like me you can do the same otherwise just make a long chain and just put it around your body i will show you once i got 94 chain and to show you how to yeah how to measure and how we look after 94 chain and where the start and where the end right so first make a slip knot this is the way i make my slip knot you can do in any other way you like and now i'm going to chain 94. here this chain is 94 chain and you can see on the screen how i put around actually under my breast and this is the position it should sit or i forgot to mention also you need the tape measurement always when you do measure along and this one major when i pull to its fullest is about 21 inches and a little bit yeah so you can have a look at the screen how it's look on my body you just do exactly like that or use the tape measurement and if you make my side just make it as it go to 21.4 <laughs> inches all right now after we got our chain done now i'm gonna add two more chain to build up the yarn because this top is made out of half double crochet first row and then from row two on is half double crochet back loop only so now i'm gonna add two chain more like that and now i'm going to half double crochet in third chain from hook so you count one two and then go to the third one like so can you see it it's quite easy half double crochet everyone know how to make half double crochet right so yeah, then go ahead to make half double crochet in each stitch across at the end of row one, you're going to have 94 half double crochet. I'm just using the number of this 
um, my own measurement. So if you start with more chain, you will end up with more half double crochet because this tutorial demonstrates my own size. So go ahead, half double crochet until the end of the row and I will meet you there. Oh, by the way, the last one, the last half double crochet, just hanging there until I get there. I want to show you how to change the color that is seamless and how to carry the color a little bit more before you cut the yarn the way that you don't need to weave in the yarn at the end at all and I love this way so much because it saved me a lot of time so in the last one we're going to poke the yarn now I'm gonna chain two to build up the yarn this chain two, when I say build up the yarn, is not counting as the stitch, as to build up the yarn only. Now we turn our work. We're gonna start, you can see that the first stitch should be the white color. You see the white color. Now we're gonna go to back loop only, yarn over, go to back loop only. This is the first stitch. And what I do is I pull these tails, like two colors. The one, the new one, and the the white one from row one. So I'm just gonna put it on a hook like that, and I make my first half double crochet. And now I'm just gonna do the same, meaning I'm still gonna carry both yarn into until I get into the end of this one. So yeah, go ahead, going to poke the yarn to back loop only and carry carry the yarn with you. It's look a little bit awkward on the camera because I have to <laughs> make sure that my hand is not out of the camera at the same time to pay attention that I poke into the right loop, you know. <laughs> but for you, I do everything. <laughs> so here, back loop is the one at the back. So yarn over, back loop and just make sure you take the ends with you. Go on doing that. And this row two, you're going to have again 94 half double crochet. But this time it's half double crochet back loop only. And from now on, you're going to repeat row two pretty much. To cut the yarn, like I said, usually I just cut at the end. Do not cut the long pink one. This long, this short pink is the end at the beginning, right? So now what I do, I pull a little bit in like that. I know that the work is going this way, don't worry. Now take the scissor and I'm just gonna cut a little bit here in the middle, see? And now when you pull your work back, the end just disappear inside, look. Don't have to do anything. How neat is that, right? And now we just have the white one, we're gonna do the same in row three. How cool is that? You like it? If you like it, just comment down below, say that you like the way I cut the yarn or how I hide the yarn. So I know that you like this method and you're going to find more method hack to share with you. Alright, now just simply continue with half double crochet back loop only. Green now. I will meet you once I get a total of 12 no, 18 rows. My one is 18 rows. Just go ahead, make as many rows as you need. You want to have, if you want to have a full body, you can make longer, but I'm, not, I'm just gonna make the same with this one, just like the portion of my breast. From here to here is 18 rows and this part I will show you later. So go ahead, make as many rows as you want and if you want to have the same size, just make 18 rows and I see you once you get to your last row. So here is my last row, it's um, 18, the row number 18. <laughs> now I'm just gonna continue. This, If you decided to use white color on the side body this is gonna be our side body this is the wrong side because I choose to have the pink as the right side so here's the right side and now I'm going to work on the end both of the end since we finished this end we're gonna start or continue right from here 
So to work on the end or the side body row from here, I'm going to chain two. And again, it's called as build up the yarn. And now I'm going to poke the yarn. I try to make in each, like at the end of each row, I'm gonna add one half double crochet and maybe in between as well, I have to see. I wanna make sure that I don't add too many on this part because when it's too many, it's gonna be too wavy. I just gonna see how many half double crochet I will add and I will write down because I wanna have the same number count on the other side as well. So I'm just gonna poke my hook into where I can. So that one count one. And since this one very close to the between row, I'm not gonna add that there. Just gonna go to now to the white color. That's two. And here, because I still have some space, I think I'm gonna go just in between. Three. And now I'm just gonna go to the between as well. Four. So the thing is, you can either go here and then go here and just every end of the row but for me I don't want it to be like how can I say when you put too little stitch it also not stay flat so sometimes you're going to put in the between of the row between of the rows and sometimes you just gonna skip the between of the rows you just have to keep an eye on how it look like okay so far how many I have one two three four then the next one, just gonna go here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's check if it's still okay. Okay, still good. 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27. So after you got that on, like if you're happy with the look, if you're happy with how it turns out, then just write the number down i have 27 and i kind of like how it looks so i'm just going to keep it this way the other side i will have to do the same all right so then the second row is going to be the row where we're going to have for put the string to do a crochet i'm going to show you how i do it i'm going to chain five turn the work and now I'm going to skip three stitch one two three and then I'm going to add single crochet into the fourth one gonna add single crochet to the next one and to the next one as well so I start with five because five is like three chain plus two build up the yarn so then I already add three single crochet, I chain three, 
Now I skip again three stitch. One, two, three, and then I add again. I repeat single crochet in the next three stitches. Now chain three. Skip three. Then again three single crochet in each three stitches. Now chain three. Just gonna repeat that. I think at the end will be slightly different. We will find out. Okay, here at the end, how many stitch we have left? We have three stitch left. So for me now is actually perfect because I'm going to chain three and add single crochet into the last one. I know it's just three stitch left. Usually we skip three, but it's already the end, so I'm just gonna do that. Because I want the last one to just have the chain. And that's it, chain one. Cut the yarn. You should have something like this by now, and now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So here, when I add the side, rows both of them already now we're going to make a long chain of 250 to 300 I'm going to make 300 because my first one also 300 so yeah I'm just gonna do the same I'm gonna make 300 chain for the crochet and then you're gonna put it on so you can find the position where to start for the upper part of your top so take your yarn and choose this pink one instead of the white you can choose also the other color and now just make a long chain of 300 gonna cut the yarn and now we're going to thread this one into our top so this is our the top part where we're going to continue that design this is the bottom and so we're going to do this and we're going to try it on. It's good to make a little knot here before you put it on so the corset not come all out so now yeah try it on and prepare with the stitch marker we're gonna mark the point where we want to start our top put your top on and before you put it on you fold in half to find the middle part and add the stitch marker at the middle part and from now you're going to add both left and right for me i from here to here is 49 stitches so in the middle i just Put this one in the middle and I count from here to here 24 from here to here 24 and all together is 49 you know 24 24 plus one stitch all right let's start it on this part so you're going to remove the middle part the stitch marker the middle part away so we start the row one with just mm, Half double crochet for 17 stitches and then we're gonna do the the chain which I don't know how to call that like to make the whole design distress that's what it called I don't know leave the comment in below this word in English how to say it <laughs> all right since we finished the, uh, the last row of the top portion with pink color I'm going to start this row one of the top design with white color so take out the stitch marker make sure you remember where it was is this one and we're going to poke into back loop because the design the whole thing is back loop back loop only so we're gonna poke the hook there and now gonna attach yarn by chain two to build up the yarn this chain two will not count we will not count as the stitch and now in the same 
space, we're going to add half double crochet there. So this one, two. The thing is, all right, I have to explain to you first. I this is what I do for my top. I have 49 stitches. So when you put it on your top, maybe if you make it bigger, bigger size, and you have more stitches, you have to think about where you want your cut to be. Where do you want your cut to be? You see, put your top, you put your top down and just think where you want your top, your this part to be. You can also, while you put the top on, just already imagine where you want your cut to be, where you want it to start, knowing that the cut is going to be in this slope on this side, gonna go a little bit sideways. So you're gonna decide first how long the cut you want, how many stitches you want it to be open. This one is 11 stitches and I'm gonna keep it as the same, this one, because I like. If you want smaller cut, all the cut is the same, just going slope way, yeah, going to the side way. If you want the cut to be more cut, you can have 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever you want, but just decide at the beginning before you start your row one where you your cut you want your cut to be. For me, I wanted to have 17 stitches here, 11 chain here so i have 11 chain cut and then here is 21 stitches so all together is 49 perfectly so before anything at all count your number and make a decision where you want your cut to be and how many stitches okay i'm going to demonstrate how i do my one so you are free to do the way you want your top to be so now i have two three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You can also count again to make sure. All right, 17. And now the cut part, I'm chain 11. Alright, 11, and I'm going to skip 11 stitches as well. Let's count. Alright, this 11, and now I'm going to poke the hook into the stitch number 12. Yeah, here. Now I'm going to continue to 21 stitches. Here's my last one, number 21. I'm going to remove this one. All right, you have something like this now. I'm going to put the stitch marker in a certain part to make sure that my second row, I'm not confused. So my last stitch of 17 is
17 is actually this one i encourage you to do the same because when we turn our work we might confuse with when is the last stitch because we're going to also the second row to have double crochet on the chain because we want our work like this way we go we start from here right Um, we start from here and then the second row we're going to slope from this side actually all right the second the second one this is the second row is where we're going to decrease and you see actually the top is make it look like go like that but actually i didn't decrease any this side just like how the yarn turned that way i only decrease on this this side now nah? So I would suggest you, because the second row, you see, I crochet also on the chain. We just want to make sure we do the right, on the right stitch. Just put a stitch marker on your last stitch before the chain, both sides. Just let's do that together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is 11, the chain. You see sometimes it's very hard to see where is the stitch of half double crochet and where is the stitch of the chain. So you see the half double crochet stitch for the next round. This is the beginning of this half double crochet, not this one, yeah? Okay, perfect. Just do that because <laughs> You're gonna thank me later. Just put the stitch marker on the last half double crochet of both of both sides from this one and this one. Alright? And now we're going to start our row two. Row two chain two. Turn our work. Now we're going to decrease. Decreasing, you can do many ways, but my way I'm just going to skip the first stitch. The first one. The chain to just to build up the yarn i'm not going to do anything the first stitch i'm going to do in the second one here in the back loop only so i should be making um 20 half double crochet perfect this last one 20 is where we have the stitch marker i'm gonna take it out 20. and like i told you now two more stitch on the chain yeah because we go this way all right so you're going to do in the chain one two now we're gonna again chain 11. The fly, can you hear the fly? It's like stuck in my house and I don't want to open the window because I don't want um, the sound outside to come in while I'm filming. So since we are on top of this, we're going to count again 11. Yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can also remember that this is going to be the first stitch of that row right so we have to go to the second one if you don't want to count that's why the stitch marker is perfect next row we just don't have to count we're just gonna go to the second stitch from this side because that's how we do it now back loop only oh no I'm for I forgot to change the color all right so but it's like this I'm gonna go back to change the color and meet you here again yeah all right, I changed the color and I stopped here because what I forgot to tell you is that we skip one stitch. So before we add two more on the chain space here, on actually on the chain stitch, we have made 20 and plus two more because this is our design. So now 20 plus two, now we have 22 on this part. I want you to put back the stitch marker on the last of half double crochet. And now we're gonna chain 11. okay and here i want to count again for you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven next time you don't have to count anymore but you can just to make sure the 11 always two stitch like you know start from the end that you put the stitch marker 
because we add this now two, now chain have only nine, so 10, 11. Now we're gonna remove the stitch marker and going to the number 11 because we chain 11 here. And now you're gonna add in the back loop only this one, yeah. Just continue until the end. And if you want, you're gonna add stitch marker back into the half double crochet that you put on this side. I'm gonna do this just to make sure I'm not confusing on the next round. All right, and now just go ahead, do the half double crochet until the end. And two, our third row. Now we're gonna, from this side, we are not, from this side, we are not uh, decreasing. We only decrease from this part. So now we're just gonna add half double crochet back loop only in each stitch until until you're gonna stop two stitches before the end so your last stitch should be this one because now we go toward this part you see this side we take two stitch more on the chain and this side we take two stitch less you see we open we go this side so meaning that if this is our first half double crochet when we come back this is the second one we have to stop here and this should be our last half double crochet before we chain 11 and go back there i will show you it sounds complicated but it's not when you have the work in your hand so let's start the first half double crochet here with no decrease or anything Chain 11. And now you see we're gonna do, we're gonna add half double crochet, two stitch before this one. First we remove this one. And we want to add this into our last stitch. Always do this please, then you not get confused. This is the last stitch. Just if you like, I'm not sure if did the last stitch or not, then count. Yeah, that is our last stitches. Our last stitch. <laughs> and now we're gonna do, you see, this is the last one from that side. So we're gonna do one, two, we're gonna add into this one. See, now we can remove this one and put back into this first one here. You're gonna need that later. See, the first one, this one. And now we're gonna have double crochet across. Do you remember this side? We have to decrease, right? We're going to decrease also. From row two on, we decrease on this side every row after two, after the second row. The first row not decreasing anything from the second row on on this side. Just make sure you don't skip anything. And if you make a mistake, you redo it. <laughs> That's what I did on my first one. Two half double crochet together. I don't know other people how they do. What I do is I'm not yarn over here. I poke the hook into back loop only. I yarn over, I pull up into the same level. I yarn over, I poke the hook into the next stitch back loop only and yarn over, I pull two down. I put it up in the same level. I have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and now I have to change color. So if you don't change color, you just yarn over, pull through. But I believe we all change color because we want to make stripe. Bobby. So now I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now I'm gonna chain two to build up the yarn. This is how I decrease. All right, darling, I'm gonna do this off camera. Just remember that 
Now you're gonna repeat row two to go back. Every even row number, you're gonna repeat row two. Every odd row number, you repeat row three. We just finished row three. Now row four, you're just gonna repeat row two. And if you feel confusing, you don't understand, go back to the point of row two and row three. Because from now on, gonna be the same. I don't want this video to be forever long, so yeah, do that darling. And I see you on the row number 8. I meet you row number 8 and I show you the rest. Here friends, I actually stop at row 9. And everything the same like I told you before. Just that we're going to do the different. Until row 9, everything the same. Row 9 is just the repeat of row 3, remember? Because it's odd row number. And for row 10, usually... We're going to repeat row 2, but because we only have 2 stitches left on this side, we're going to do something different. Our row 10, again from this side, we have to decrease, turn our work, yarn over and skip the first stitch, going to the second one. Take the yarn along with you, just go ahead at half double crochet until one stitch until um, we get to the last stitch and I will show you what's going to happen. Alright here I just crochet over the last stitch where the stitch marker is and every auto row just to mention one more time I will crochet half double crochet two stitches on the chain stitch right but like I said we only have two stitches left now I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and I'm gonna add the last stitch, just one more only. And now I'm gonna uh, chain 11. I'm gonna show you to count again to show you that actually we do have 11 stitch still. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 you see 11 is the one with the stitch marker this is our 11 so we're gonna put our last stitch over here it's easy to understand if you crochet along because we just crochet one half double crochet on chain stitch just one so for that we just going to skip one from this one the other side and add our last one here on the last stitch and that's it Oh, you hear the rain? Strong rain. All right, from now on, we're gonna do something different. Just remove the stitch marker first. So from here, we're going to make the strap to go across, like go around our neck, and we're gonna come back to connect here. So to make the strap, we're going to chain two to build up the yarn. We turn our work, and we're gonna add half double crochet Let's say we're going to do in both loop. This is the only half double crochet we have here. So it's this one. Half double crochet. Now we chain two again. And we turn our work again. And this is what we're going to do to make the strap. You're just going to repeat this process. You see? Chain two, turn the work and just add one half double crochet in the half double crochet from previous row. Chain two, just turn the work again. Make sure you put in two two loop because we want our strap to be strong. Go ahead to that and I will show you once I got my strap and ready to try on. So I put it on, I have made 36 rows of this strap and I just just gonna stop here I'm gonna cut the yarn and weave in with yarn needle see put it on and do the same trying to pull and make sure that it's not too tight you still have some space but I like it tight because I know it's gonna lose it up a little bit more the first one I made too long and this one I just want to make it sure that it's perfect. So yeah, you should have something like this by now. So I cut the yarn. And now you're going to use the yarn needle 
to sew in to the other side. And now just weave in all the ends and you're done. Put it on, take a picture, post on your social media and tag me, Mayalina Corazon. Mm -hmm.